I'm Dr. Alan Austin Olo, the founder of Trigenics Myoneuromedicine and the founder of the Olo Austin Trigenics Frozen Shoulder Recovery Procedure, known as the OAT Procedure. You may have seen some of my videos on YouTube, but what you're about to see now is clear evidence that you too can get relief in only one visit, in only one procedure, from the dreaded affliction that you suffer with called adhesive capsulitis frozen shoulder. The show is a show that was done by a television station, a documentary in the European Union on the OAT procedure. Tere, rõõm teiega taas kohtuda. Meie tänase saata läbivaks teemaks on külmunud õlg. Külmunud õlg teeb palju valu, Haigus tuleb õige aegselt avastada ja hakata ka ravima. Misugused on haiguse ilmingud ja misugune on ravi ning edasi ne tulevik, sellest me nüüd lähema poole tunni jooksul räägime ja näitamegi. Frozen shoulder adhesive capsulitis affects 4 to 5 percent of the population and it's growing in numbers. The number of people getting frozen shoulder worldwide is increasing significantly for some reason. Nobody's sure why, but every year there seems to be more and more cases of frozen shoulder. In terms of how this has affected your life, Lisa, what are the things that you can't do anymore? Um, I've not been very good at washing my hair. Um, how would you wash your hair? Show me how you do it. Literally, my head back. And the other, the other, the other hand. The other hand's for absolutely yeah. fine. That's as far as that one goes. But this one is just horrendous. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, eating uh -huh. um, is proven a problem because I'm left-handed, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. so I. I so if I can eat for uh -huh. a little while and then uh -huh. I literally have to drop. Uh -huh. um, trying to put your bra on, is that hard? Oh, horrendous. Let me see you trying to put your bra on. Turn around, let me and see if you try to put it on behind your back. Go I ahead, can't. turn around. I can't, I literally can't. No. I can't do anything, uh -huh. I can't get it on. Okay, okay. So it's All right. What about shaving under your arms? No, I haven't hardly been done. <laughs> There's no way about no, that one either. No, right? it's horrendous. <laughs> it's like I can't wait to get my arm back. It's a reaction of the body where, where the body itself begins to protect the shoulder joint by laying down uh, large amounts of scar tissue or hard, hard tissue around the entire shoulder joint. Really, it should be like this. But now, it won't go anywhere. And the condition is excruciatingly painful. It is one of the most painful conditions that exists known to man. They can't put on their shirt, they can't put on their coat, they can't wash their hair, they can't shave their underarms, they can't do anything. It's completely and totally debilitating. At night they can't sleep. Many of the people that come have not slept for months and sometimes years for a full eight hours without waking up in excruciating terrible pain. Every, every night you have to sleep uh, sitting in the, in the bed. Uh, like I'm sitting now, because she, she's not able to, to uh, turn around or, or uh, move. So the only, only position at night uh, without uh, much pain is uh, sitting and sleeping. It's completely frozen. It's really called an adhesive capsulitis. Adhesive capsulitis is a really true frozen shoulder which causes severe pain. You can't put on your jacket. Try to put on your jacket. You can't put on your jacket. Can you, can you do your hair? Try, let me see you try to do your hair. You can't wash your hair. There's many videos on YouTube where some people are saying, look, I fixed the frozen shoulder. It was here and now it's here. But that's not frozen shoulder. It's not adhesive capsulitis. Your shoulder is a real adhesive capsulitis. And unfortunately, you have probably out of the grade 10 grades, you have like the grade 10. You have the very, very bad one. But that doesn't mean that we don't fix it. We still fix it. We still fix it. What we're going to do is we're going to do a procedure that will um, open the adhesions, the scar tissue inside. We'll open it up. And you are an interactive participant. We're using a, uh, something called Trigenics. Mm -hmm. And Trigenics is an interactive uh, neurological 
muscle or reprogramming system that reprograms the way the, the nerves are going into the muscles. All these muscles are shut off. Now, when we go to do the procedure, some other muscles will try to contract very hard. And we're going to have you move and press in a certain way that will shut off some of the signals to those muscles. And when those signals get shut off, then I can do the procedure and very quickly your arm will be up. Vaevatudend lootusrikas Sandra on lahkelt nõus näitama, kui palju tema haige käsi üldse liikuda saab. Now, how far can this one go without moving the shoulder? And that's it, huh? Yeah. Okay. And the interesting thing, if we turn you around, let's turn around. The interesting thing is you can see that the, already the entire shoulder is moving. It's not, yeah. you see here, you see here, this point stays the same. You see? But here, look, my finger, see? My finger is going already mm -hmm. up. Inside is completely frozen. That's why her whole shoulder is moving. Try to move it up again. Dr. Olo valmistab Sandra eelseisvaks protseduuriks ette koela ja õla täristamisega. Tegelikult on selle laparaadil vägagi tähtis this is just an instrument that we developed for uh, performing the uh, trigenics procedures that stimulates the nerve sensors while the person is doing resisted exercise, which is also, I know that one hurts, I'm sorry, breathe, and down, I know it hurts, I know it hurts, sorry about that, not fun, terrible bouncing feeling, breathing, and come down, I know, I know, good, okay, good. Sandra saab toimestava süsti, mille toime saabub 10 minutiga. Seni kuulame Dr. Olo kirjeldust oma protseduurile. With my uh, treatment, we do local anesthetic injections and then we have a specific way where I use this treatment called trigenics. I use a neurological method of shutting down the muscles that go into contracture when we hit the pain. When the pain, when we hit the level of pain, I use a way where I involve the patient where he is actually um, working with me and he's moving against heavy, heavy resistance in a way that I cause a shutdown of the nerve signals going to the muscle that would otherwise not allow me to open the joint. And then when that muscles, those muscles shut down, then I can open the joint and I can, I can uh, separate the scar tissue internally without using a knife from outside. Sandral palutakse protseduuri jaoks pikali heita, aga meie tutvustame teile seni teist patsienti. Tema nimi on Jüri ja Jüri ei ole saanud neli kuud külmunud õladõttu oma kätt liigutada. Jürigi saab kõigepealt toimestava süsti. Nüüd aga siirtume taas Sandra juurde, et vaadata protseduuri tulemusi. Very, very good. You can keep it up by yourself. A lot of people can't do that. So you're actually better than a lot of people now because you have that strength in your muscles. Can you bring it down very slowly? Be careful. Don't let it drop suddenly. Be very careful. Very careful. Very careful. Very careful. Very careful. Very careful. That's only your first time. By the end, by, within the next hour, we're going to have you bringing it up by yourself and down. But this is just the beginning. We just finished the, uh, the uh, OAT uh, procedure for adhesive capsulitis, frozen shoulder which 4% of the world's population suffers from. And with this particular uh, lady that flew from Norway to Estonia, uh, with her adhesive capsulitis, she was basically what I refer to as a grade 10. She had the worst possible uh, scar tissue formation and uh, adhesions that had formed in the capsule. There was almost, there was basically no motion of the shoulder. All of the procedures that I've done over the last 10 years not a single one of them has ever come back to have to have, to have done a second procedure and uh, none of them have had a reoccurrence of the frozen shoulder. So the prognosis is good even though on the first day it doesn't look that great. The prognosis is very good. Give my, my, my life back. Yeah. I can do it. You can do it. Can do you it. can do it. Amazing. Amazing. You can do it. You can do it. 
Yes, you I can, can do it. You can do it. I can you do, can it. do it. Yes. I can do it. What's going to happen now is he's going to improve every single hour that he does these. He's going to improve. We've actually opened up the adhesions, as I said. We've opened up the adhesions. Now there's one area that I didn't open up, and I don't open up this area because it's the particularly dangerous area. You're going to sit here again, facing. Uh, yep, we can use this one. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the shoulder up. Okay, and what you're going to do is breathe in for me. Breathe in, breathe out, and come down. Come down. Now, what I'm doing now is I'm actually stimulating the nerves in the muscle that he didn't use for quite a few months. Edgelan se hea tunne, et ma olgmis ei liikunud, neli kuud. Ma suudan ta üles tõsta. Kujutad ette, ma ei saanud seda. Ma ei saanud seda neli kuud teha ja, ja ma, saan, ma saan ka niimoodi, niimoodi teha. Ehk ta on veel natukene valus praegu, aga see on ikkagi see tunne, et, et su elukvaliteet on teine. Ma saan, ma saan tööd teha kahe käega, nii nagu teha. Ja no, kuna ma olen seda abi otsinud ju päris kõik aeg, kui see õlg nii ära külmus, siis täiesti juhuslikult, et See oli üks ja ainus variant, kiirein variant, kuidas seda õlga korda saada. Mina soovitan küll kõigile valida selle kiirema tee, sest et tervis on üks ja ainus siin elus, et kõik üleend on tulev ja minev. Jüri protseduurist on möödunud nädal. Mees on hoolega võimelnud ja valmis nüüd meilegi tulemusi ette näitama. Käsi on liikuma hakanud. Ehk siis liiges on tõepoolest lahti. Nii et õlg on korras, ja et selles mõttes oli see protseduur küll õige. Õlg on korras ja ma saan paremini ennast riidesse, saan püksid paremini jalga, saan jope paremini selga ühesõnaga normaalselt elu elada ja tööd teha. Norrast saatis meile koduvideo õnne Aleksandra, kes nüüd suudab oma kätt just nii palju liigutada nagu te isegi näete. And what did the other doctor here in Norway told you? Uh, the doctor in Norway told me that I, I have to wait three years in operations to heal my arm. First try to, to fix your, your army. Will, will would take three years. If it didn't work out in three years, you have to have make to a surgery. A surgery, yes. Ah. And uh, nobody in Norway can uh, help me. I just thanks to God I find Dr. Olo. Mm-hmm. And he helped me just in one... In one treatment. treatment. One day. Uh, one day See. my arm can do this. Jüril kipub juba ununema, kui hull lugu täpselt tema käega enne protseduuri algust oli. No kui ma selle asjaga arsti juurde läksin, siis no, ma arvan, et ma sain teda umbes nii kõrgele tõsta. Ja, ja samamoodi oli see liikuvus ette ja, ja taha oli piiratud no, kuidagi niimoodi. Nüüd, nagu sa näed, läheb see täiesti üles ja see tähendab, et see on lahti ja ta liigub ka ilusesti siit ette. Well, you've watched the video, and I just want to say one thing. Someone asked me the other day, what gives you the greatest joy in your practice? And it didn't take me more than a second or a split second to know what that was. And I said to him, I said, the thing that gives me the greatest joy is seeing the incredible smile, beaming smile and joy, and tears of joy often on the faces of the people that I help, especially the faces of the people with frozen shoulder where they've suffered for so long, where no one's been able to help them, where they've tried all kinds of therapies that don't help or that often actually make it worse. I just really hope that you believe your eyes, that you believe in what you've seen here today because the patients that you've seen are not actors, they're real people. They're just like you and when you're ready to receive help, I'm ready to help you. Knowing that now I'm going to go out and live my life and put my shirt on and play with my kids and... That's tears of joy. <laughs>